guru is to emerge gradually from a limited vision to the unlimited horizons this was the vision of the visionaries the congregation of the sisters of saint charles borromeo widened its horizons with the joining of the new members the first formation house in india was opened at mary immaculate convent shimoga on 31st may 1935 the first novice mistress to direct the native indian vocations was mother saint john kennedy on 12th august 1938 the novitiate was shifted to alsor bangalore and mother margaret mary was appointed as the novice mistress in 1942 The novitiate had to be shifted back to Mary Immaculate Convent Shimoga on account of the Second World War and due to the air raids in Bangalore. The novitiate was once again shifted to Bangalore at Richardstown on 19 May 1949 with Mother Margaret Mary continuing as novice mistress. I the Lord of sea and sky I have heard my people cry all who dwell in dark and sin my hand will stay I who made the stars of night in the year 1985 The golden jubilee year of the Indian novitiate was celebrated with great solemnity. It was during this year that after much reflection and discernment the congregation felt that it should adapt to the signs of the times in keeping with the new documents on formation. Formation had to be suited to the new generation and its needs. It was thought ideal to move to a quiet location this prompted the authorities to transfer the novitiate to bairuti a rural place in bangalore the brain behind the move was none other than sister benigna the then novice mistress this dream became a reality only in 1987 when sister sheena koda was appointed novice mistress The main aim was to give holistic formation that is spiritual, physical, psychological, intellectual and pastoral formation and this could be realized with greater freedom only in a different setting. The formation team comprising of Sister Zita de Souza, Sister Sheila Corda and Sister Hilda Fernandez moved with their flock of 26 novices to occupy premanjali meaning an offering of love on 20th january 1987 the solemn inauguration took place on 24 january 1987 the feast of saint francis de sales patron of spiritual life and youth right reverend dr alphonsus matthias the archbishop of bangalore lit the lamp symbolizing the birth of a new formation community of sister lydia and sister victoria began to bear fruit the simple structure that was put up needed further expansion as the number of novices also increased with the passage of time the building was extended in 1993 a new kitchen block two dormitories a sisters block and the extension of the classroom was part of the plan You have chosen us to be members of your family. In your love, you have created us to live in unity. You have called us by our name. We belong to you. You have called us by our name, and we are yours. You. Thank you.
the congregation was blessed with large number of novices in the year 2005 and 2006 the first year novices remained in premanjali and the second year novices were shifted to adrian nivas gedlahalli in the following year 2007 a group of novices were also accommodated in arpana tirupattur gratitude all the past and present formators who had the passion and took keen interest in guiding mentoring and shaping the formis to know love and serve the god the master of their life we raise our hearts and minds in thankfulness to god for blessing our congregation with many vocations to continue the mission handed down to us by our founder and predecessors we lift and carry forward the torch of faith toil and progress and pass on their dream project in and through our formies and professed sisters to know god and to make him known steps of st charles for a way manifesting humility integrity and the spirit of compassion Love God 
and make him love the poor and the marginalized. May all those who are planted in the Lord's vineyard continue to bloom and blossom and yield abundant and lasting fruits. This is our earnest desire and fervent prayer that through the holistic integral formation imparted in all our formation houses, may our formings be supported to abide in the Lord like the vine and branches and reflect his compassionate face to the world.